Hi guys, Guy Christian here again with more Let's Play LEGO Indiana Jones 2. I am in front of Club Obi-Wan because this is where the first bonus mode is. Oops, it's not called Obi-Wan anymore. Ah. <laughs> but anyways, this is actually called Club Obi-Wan. And <laughs> yeah, so yeah, short round in Indiana Jones. Again, not that it matters because it's bonus levels because yeah, whatever. Alright, so collect a few sets. Oh, blue set. Yay! Alright, so short round. Get to use the vent. Something that we haven't used a lot of in this game as well. Like, a, a lot of the abilities that you have in the previous game just don't get used a whole lot in the in the new game. Which is kind of sad, because I kind of missed it. But, um, the, repairing the thing, uh, the, repairing the motor activates this thing, which allows you to go over the fire. And, uh, yay, saw traps. I think there's going to be a lot of saw traps in this. Or, I don't know, I can't remember. Yeah, but there is thuggies. Yeah, man. One thing I'm still happy about is that they improved the the combat system with the um the screwdriver or no wrench. What am I saying? <laughs> Sonic screwdriver. I love that show. All right, so <laughs> all right, so there's a few things to do here. I'm trying to remember exactly what is about this course. Um, well, obviously at this next point we need spears and don't want to fall off. <laughs> Alright, so here's a treasure chest full of spears. Let's get two just in case, because that's usually how it is. It looks like we only need one here, but oh well, doesn't matter. Alright, so jump over here, and more friends! Alright, so yeah, oh, no, don't want to go that way yet. Okay, oh, jeez. Damn, saw traps. They kind of put it in an awkward position, didn't they? Alright, so, um... <laughs> Poor AI. Yeah, you're obviously using the water bottles to um, clear out the fire away from the switch. Jeez. <laughs> uh, he keeps trying. Oh, damn it, it was the wrong direction. Ah. Alright, let's get this last one. Of course, I picked the wrong one. Uh. Alright, so now we can use this. And if the studs can already show you enough, path away. And there you are. More friends! Yay! <laughs> yeah, that was sure a problem. Okay, so there's a whip switch over there, and yes, you can reach it, don't worry about it. Pretty long whip switch, though, I have to say. And after all that, there's your treasure. Good best time, oh yeah. <laughs> Death loops, I love them. Alright, so that's it for the first one, so, um... Well, the next one is a little far away, or no, it isn't, I don't know. I'll just see you there, guys. Okay, that's like down here. Uh, yeah, you fall down from where Mola, basically where Mola is that you build them the first time. But you need the village elder in order to do this because it's a scholar ability thing again. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, so, two, three, four, it's a Y! Well, <laughs> what's that crocodile doing? Well, I, I, I didn't know there was crocodiles in this. Well, I guess I should have, but... Anyways, this is Beachside Cave. There's gonna be a lot of caves in this movie, by the way, so... <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, again, we get short round in Indiana, and grenades! Why do we need grenades? Well, you'll see why in a minute. Alright, so we can... We'll push this over here. This is mainly a ways to get back. Because you need to use that vent right there. Uh, we... We do need short round though. And where does this go? Uh, it goes over here. Alright, well, let's activate this. Okay, so yeah. So yeah, uh, there's a bit of flooding in this course. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember how to get back uh, to the top side though, because I. Oh, you just jump. Okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I can get on top. Okay, there you go. Alright, so you blow these up with the grenades. You need to get the grenades before you flood the area, though, because there's a spear! And obviously, you gotta find another spear because they aren't gonna respawn the first one. So you got a bunch of crocodiles or alligators or whatever. Uh, no problem as long as you stay above water and stuff like that. Let's use this because I don't want to chance it. I mean, why, why have to swim through crocodiles? We I mean, can just go through a vent. But yeah, there's a few studs. Because of Stud Magnet, though, some of those previously lost studs are now mine, so haha, -ha, suck it, game. So yeah, oh jeez. <laughs> Where was I aiming? 
I mean, yeah, there's a uh, there's a few powerful studs right over there too if you're willing to get them. All right, so actually, let's go ahead and get them. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even have to get outside the water. That's awesome. Up. Oh. Uh, oh, what the hell? Come on. Let's go. Eat. No. Yeah. Man, weird jumping mechanics there. Yeah, more than such rats. Oh, yeah. And there's your second trap. Technically, our seventh, since this is the second bonus level. But who's counting? Okay, so now that I've done that, i got to do a bit of walking to get to the next one. Alright, so the next one, you're going to need either a thuggy character or the Maharaja, because it involves a thuggy statue. The second one in the game. And the last one in the game, I believe, as well. Yeah, it's sad. I don't know. And he just moves aside. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Slave Driver Cave. And this is a very, very tricky one. Because there's a boulder! And it's not trying to kill us. But rather, it's trying to make us fail. And you'll see why in a sec. Uh, first, you got to race this thing all the way over here. And you have to use a whip switch right there. And it stops it from hitting those rockets. Now, why you want to do that is because those red rockets are called failure rockets. And you see, there's another one right there, so another race against the clock. But basically, if the, ro if, if the boulder reaches those rockets and it activates them, you automatically fail the course. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You automatically fail. So technically, this course does have a time limit. So yeah, this is the only time you ever have to deal with these failure rockets um, during the game. But, oh god, let's get close and yeah. No worries. The boulder is slow enough that unless you, like, just unequivocally screw up, uh, there's no way you can fail. But yeah, see, yeah, th this is the only course where you ever have to deal with the failure rockets. So, yeah, I don't want to show them because there's really no point. Go to creator box. Whatever. Okay, so the next one. Now, the next one was where again? All right. Back at Shanghai, we're gonna need that plane and what? What the hell? <laughs> the junk boat? What the hell is it doing? <laughs> what the hell is the junk boat doing up here? Oh my god, that, is, that has never happened. Oh my god. All right, well, anyways, uh, the site of the last of the red power bricks is where our next bonus course is. It's the mountain cave! So, the third cave in a row. But, wow. <laughs> wow, how about that, man? Talk about the game screwing up. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> sorry there. Okay, so, what to do here? What to do here? Uh, what's down here for a sec? Oh, goody, those things again. <laughs> So obviously at some point we're going to need a torch. Uh, first we'll twist this, and that does that. Boring. Rargh! Okay. So that gets us this gate thing that opens up, and then what is this thing? Oh, it's a rocket launcher! Okay, well I guess that works. They are in metal casings after all. You know, after so many times I've been blown up by those things, you think I would have been a little smarter about that? <laughs> Oh, I remember this one. Oh god, this is a long one. And I'm an idiot. I didn't see those platforms rising there. Alright, so, um, yeah, this is this is another kind of a, a, an odd one. Definitely a different one. Kind of like that last one was. The uh, Slave Driver Cave. Uh, not that there's a fail rocket in this uh, thing, but there is something else that you don't see anywhere else in the game. Um, well, technically. Alright, so we'll need the Maharaja because there's another short person event right here. And we'll go up there. See, there's a treasure right there, but there's a lot that we have to do to get to it first. Alright, so that switch opens that up, and uh, where's Indiana? There he is. Okay, let's go. Rargh. Alright, Maharaja is the black sleep. That's right. And there it is right there. What, uh, a stud counter engine thing. Uh, if you'll remember, you've seen those uh, most likely from the super bonus levels. And um, in those, you have to get um, uh, 1 million studs in order to complete the course. However, for this course, um, you need 30,000 uh, 30, studs, but all it does is that it opens that gate up for you. So this is really the only time that the game requires you to get a certain amount of studs in order to progress in a level. 
So yeah, again, kind of an oddity when you, when you consider all the other courses that you've done so far. And so, um, this is supposed to be kind of like a little break period, like, um, you know, uh, whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna need something for that. Lomo! <laughs> Rocket launchers. Nature's a weed killer. <laughs> Or man's weed killer, I guess. But anyways, if um, like if you're not like me and you don't have um, any score multipliers and you're struggling on getting the necessary studs, what you can do is um, you get the shovel that I blew up in the beginning and then use the shovel to blow up the metal rocks to get you these three spears. Three spears. There we go. And. Just use the spheres, and then there you go, a little, ca uh, uh, little treasure trove of studs. Pretty much, almost enough to guarantee, well, pretty much enough to guarantee you to get the 30,000. I think there probably was 30,000 right there, actually. But yeah, once you have 30,000 studs, you can progress to this next area and take out your new friends. Alright, uh, don't want to do that yet. That activates the light puzzle here, but of course we want to get these out of the way first so that the light doesn't you know, kill us. Uh, you don't have to do it in the order I am doing it, but that's probably the only way you really... Well, this is probably the only way you really can do it, because, like, just the way they're arranged, you can't get to the other boxes without pushing the other ones aside. What's with this other one over here? It's like it's stuck in the middle. Okay, well, fortunately, it didn't screw up our bonus level, so let's just go on. And so, yeah, all we have to do is deal with these thuggy acolytes, and our treasure is here. Okay, so about 12 minutes. Uh, well, no, it's gonna be more than that. Shit, I don't know. Yeah, let's just move on. Alright, so final one. Yeah, I need you. Pink Hot Assassin, okay. So, um, yeah. You know, why am I worrying about time limits? Because there's no time limits anymore. Ah. Uh, yeah, I just found that out, and it's awesome. Because now I can actually fit... Oh, wait, what's over here? Oh, no, 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 that's not where I wanted to go. Well, now with the new timeline, I don't have to edit that out. Wee! But... <laughs> yeah, so... What's there really to say? Now I can actually... Well, hopefully this doesn't take too much longer, because, like... As much as the timelines are gone and I'm able to make new videos, I don't want to, like, stretch it. Like... Uh, the, probably the longest I'll ever try to make a video is like 20 at most because I don't want to keep your time people like you know I don't want to be jerks I don't want to put up an hour long video detailing the entire movie I mean that that would that would probably kill most of your computers but um <laughs> but uh anyways this is Princess Rescue why they call that it's mainly because of how you e enter the area but it's one of, one of the more original titles I suppose yeah, that's enough to talk about me and YouTube. Although, YouTube, I must say, thank you for this, you know, leisureness of the time limit. Although, I've, apparently, this, it was, used, it used to be like this. And then they switched it to combat the uh, whole, you know, Oh, I don't want, uh, we don't want TV shows to pop up on our things here, or something like that. I don't know. I don't care. No time limit! Anyways. So yeah, use two spheres to get over here, and then what do we do? Let's see. Oh, this whip switch up here. Okay, let's pull that. Yeah. And that opens that up. What does that do? Um, looks like there's something back there. Looks like a wrench. Yeah, it's a wrench. Oh no, it's a shovel. What am I saying? Well, we have to dig up this stuff anyways, and since we have the British commander with us, we can blow this stuff up. No. No. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Alright, so if you get says there's the wrench. Alright, so we need the shovel to get to the wrench. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so yeah, that opens up the left area, so now we can do that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Water. Okay, uh, shoot. It's not letting me up. Crap. Oh, whoa, what? What just happened? Jeez, oh man, for a second there, I thought I just screwed up the mission or something. Oh man, whew. Alright, calm down. Okay, okay. <laughs> Gotta calm down. Especially since I don't have school anymore. Come on. Alright, oh, oh yeah, I can't do that yet. Alright, so water. Yeah, more water this time on land! And we can actually throw it from here, but we need to get rid of these fires in order to get to this switch here. 
Come on, throw it. There we go. And let's get rid of this last one because I'm not too confident that the game will let me activate the switch. All right, so pulling that will uh, uh, enable that switch, and then um, what's taking him so long? Oh, there he is! Whoa! He went on top of the course. Wh what? The what? Oh, oh come! On. Oh, I need to see this. How do you do that? Wow! Damn! I mean, I know the the computers in this game have like really good jumps when they need it. Holy crap! Oh, whatever. <laughs> Let's just get this over with. Because looking at my time, I wouldn't have been able to put this in one video if the time limit hadn't been lifted. So I've wasted enough time. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. All the treasure, uh, all the bonus levels in one video. Remarkable. Anyways, for our hard work, we do get an achievement for it, and the achievement is you dare not do that. So this is Guy Christian Knight, but let's play Lego Indiana Jones 2. In the next episode, well, we've done everything, so... Super bonus time! Yay! And I'll see you then, guys.